What's up guys, back in here with another video in the Node.js and uh, Express series. This episode we're going to be learning about um, external files and also partials. Okay guys, so welcome back. Uh, last episode, you know, we uh, came back to the series and we did some stuff like uh, working with for loops and if statements inside of our EJS files, but now we're gonna like um, basically go even further um, and do some more optimization for our website to make it even more awesome. Okay, so first, what we need to do, of course, is start our you know uh, our server. So we're gonna just use NodeMod, of course, because I love NodeMod since I'm lazy, kinda, and uh, we're going to reload here. Okay, cool. So anyway, um, so here's our website right now. That's what it currently looks like, right? But, you know, uh, let's say we want to, like, add some stuff, like, you know, per, per, like, right now it's very ugly, you know? It doesn't have any styling. It's all, like, blank and, you know, basic basic HTML with no styling, right? If we go to the home page, there's nothing styled here. So if we want to add some styling, of course, we can do that, you know, the regular way, you know, if we do style like this. Um... And then have some styling. So we'll have like, um, we'll do body. Um, we could do like color green. So like every, all the letters will be like green or something like that. And then we'll maybe have like a background um, color. So background color. We'll do black just to spice it up a little bit. Awesome. Cool. So, um, yeah, so let me turn up the, uh, the font size so hopefully I can see it better. So we'll do like 30 f or yeah, 35 pixels. See if that is fine. Oh, perfect. Okay. So yeah, I know this is very simple styling right now, but you know, just for now, we're going to keep it simple. And next episode, actually, we're going to start um, using a template to design our website because, you know, I'm not good at, you know, like art and stuff like that, you know, using CSS. So I usually, I usually use templates whenever I'm designing a website, you know. So I work better with code and like, you know, like um, the back end part of the website design, like what we're doing here, all this kind of engineering code, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm not good at like making how the website looks. I'm not good at that. So I use a template. So yeah, like I said, next episode, we'll use that. And so we're going to keep it simple for this episode. Okay. So, yeah, so that's that. And let's say for the H1, we're going to override it and make the color pink. So, pink. So, yeah, so there we go. We get a cool Illuminated Productions in pink. Awesome. So, um, what else can we do? Well, hmm. Well, let's go ahead and apply this to every single page, you know, because... Usually, usually with the website, you would have um, the same style for every page, basically. So let me show you an example real quick. So if this will hurry up and load. Um, so for example, Khan Academy, you know, um, if we go to like any of any page here, right? So let's click a random page. It'll look the same as any other page, right? Every single page will have the same basic styling sheet, right? Associated with it, of course. Okay. So yeah, that's what I mean, right? Um, so every page isn't different. On the website, some some pages are different, but not every page is uh, different because you know sometimes the font is the same and stuff like that. So yeah, basically we're gonna take this style right here, copy it, and then apply it to every page that we have on the website. Okay, so we're gonna apply it to the head stage here. Uh, head stage? Did I say stage? I meant page. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway, um, let's go to this page now. So game list. Awesome. So now it's applied to here. That's cool, right? And so we can apply it to our uh, our game page here also. Okay. Let's try that game and then. Um... Okay, cool. So it works for our game page also. So yeah, that's how that works. And um, yeah. So yeah. Um, let me think. Let me think. Um, we can also use like, you know, a bootstrap, um, link of course. So I'll open bootstrap and I'll be right back. So yeah, I'm on the bootstrap website. And so if we copy this, uh, this link right here, this is the B the bootstrap CDN, which is, allows you to access the bootstrap, uh, CSS file basically. And so we can apply that to our website if, you know, we replace it here. 
so then we can have you know bootstrap styling you know look at this cool font and all that kind of stuff so basically if you're using bootstrap you could do it the same way also but anyway um what i what i'm showing you this for is well because well now you know how to style your page of course you know that's important but also the main thing is um, if we're going to be using the same, the same basic style for every page, <clears throat> excuse me, and we have like a thousand pages in our website, then that's really repetitive, you know? That means we're going to have to type the same style for every page, right? Which is no big, right? No biggie, right? We can copy it and, you know, change it every time, I guess. Um, or, you know, paste it every time. But let's say in the future when we have like a thousand pages and it's like a year later, we want to change one of our one of the styles, right? Let's say we want to change the color of this to like pink, right? That means we're gonna to have to go through all 1,000 of those pages and then change from the colors to pink. Like that's that's mind blowing, right? That's that's impossible, right? I mean, it's possible, but it'll take you forever, right? So if you want to make small changes that affect all all the pages in your website that use that style sheet, then you would use something called a partial, right? Let's see if we can use an external t style sheet, you know, like a actual CSS file, okay? So how do we do that? Well, normally you would make a file, right? We'll call it style.css. And then maybe we could store the file. Um, you know, take the code here. All right, we'll just cut it and then put it in here, right? So we store it in the CSS file. But that actually won't work, you know, if we go ahead and link it here. So we'll, we'll do that to so link. Um, well style sheet and then um, href style.css okay so so if we go ahead and go to the game list web um, route it won't actually work because whenever using like external um, files you know for like example a CSS file a, um, a JavaScript file anything like that you don't want to have in your views folder or you know your root folder you want to have it inside of a separate folder called public okay and so basically your public folder will hold all of your external files okay like like I said your CSS and your JavaScript files okay or anything like any type of file EPUB files uh, pictures you want to put your pictures in your pu public folder also anything like that okay so yeah and I just made the public folder inside of my views folder by accident so I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the root folder okay so we can close the views folder if you want to. And so now inside of our public folder, we have our style.css, okay? Right, so now we have it here, right? So let's go ahead and um, try and get to show up now, right? Uh, where is it? Um, so we have it here, right? So now um, you might think that if we reload it'll work, but we have one more thing we need to do, okay? We have to go to our, um, our app.js file and then update well, we have to tell the EJS or Express to look for the public folder, okay? It needs to know where to look for external files, and we have to tell it to look inside the public folder, okay? Because it doesn't have to be called public, but that's usually what developers do when they're making uh, Node.js uh, websites, okay? So how do we do that? Well, we could do app.use, okay? And then express.static public. So basically it's saying look for all the static files inside of your public folder. That's all that really is, okay? So awesome. So now if we reload, it'll actually work now because it knows to look for your style.css right here inside of your public folder because, you know, we told it to look for any static file uh, static file inside of here, right? So awesome, that works now. So we can go ahead and, you know, copy this link here. This, um, yeah, this link. And then we can paste it to all our websites so we can, you know, shorten the code here. So awesome, that's really cool, right? Um, let's see right here too. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so that works now. So basically if we go to our homepage, it'll also have the style. So yeah, so now if, um, oh, by the way, I misspoke by the way, I told you partials would allow you to, um, change one piece of code and then it updates every, you know, style on every page, right? But I misspoke. I meant par partials for something else. I meant we actually did what we needed to do. So now if we update, you know, green, if we change green to like red or something, now it'll update the style for every single page that we have this style sheet, you know, um, set to, right? So basically, yeah. So yeah, I misspoke about that. So basically, yeah. So <laughs> basically, yeah. Why do I keep saying that? So um, yeah, we have a public folder here. Inside of that, we have a style.css. And then now this style.css is applied to every single um, web page that we have. So once um, we change, we want to change a piece of styling on one web page, we can apply it to every single web page at once. 
So it's all very magical and, and very useful and stuff like that, right? So that's how you do that. And of course, we don't have to use that. Um, we don't have to make our own file. We could also download the Bootstrap, you know, or a different CSS style sheet and then load it onto our website and all that fun stuff. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to do that next episode. But anyway, so before we move on to actually using partials, what I messed up on, um, we can actually do something else real quick to make our website awesome. We can set the view engine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first. So we'll do app dot set. And then view engine, and then EJS. So if, if you remember correctly, we're using the EJS view engine. That's what it's called, a view engine, which is our basically um, basically the system that allows us to mix JavaScript with with HTML. There's a number of them: EJS, Handlebars, and yeah, I don't know the names of the other ones to be honest. But uh, yeah, so this basically tells it that we're using EJS. So we don't even need to use the .EJS um, extension anymore. It knows what files to look for, right? So we can get rid of this whenever we're rendering a file. We don't need to explicitly say .EJS. So, you know, it just, it's very simple, but it makes our life easier. So it says no, no default engine was specified and no extension was provided. So we seem to have typed it wrong. Okay, yeah. So we don't need a dash here. That was my mistake, sorry about that. So if we reload, now it works, awesome. So yeah, so now we set our view engine, that's really cool. And now we can move on to the really juicy part, the part that I really like. This is called partials, okay? So with partials, you can actually, um, well actually, let's pull up an example here, okay? So if we go to, um, let's go to like any website, right? So if we go to game website I showed you before, um, Let's say um, you, let me get, okay, look, just look up here, right? You see that we have a menu up here, right? This menu is actually appearing on every single web page on the website. No matter no matter what page we go on the website, this menu will still be here. Why is that? Well, they're using a system, basically like we're using, partials, where they, um, you could use a piece of code as a template and then apply that template to every single web page on your website, basically. So, I mean, I probably didn't explain that good enough, but let me show you, right? So this is our header, right? So basically, um, our menu that they have, the menu that they have here will be inside of our header, or, well, not in our header, but, you know, up here, right? Or whatever up here. So we're going to have our own menu here soon, next episode probably, and we're going to be able to use it as a template also. But for now, we can cut this piece of code and then apply it to every single web page because that's what we're doing already, right? So if we, you know, undo this real quick, we can see that this piece of code appears on every single web page, right? You know, it's the same thing. So it's kind of useless to type this over and over and over, right? So just like the style sheet, what if we want to update, you know, the title here, right? We would have to update it for every single web page on our website or even update the name of the style sheet. We have to update it for every single page on our website. So let's say we want to put this piece of code onto one file and then use that file to be able to edit every file, right? If we ever have to, right? So we can do that by um, creating a partial, and a partial is basically a code template, okay? So yeah, I know that was a lot, but let me show you. So if we make a new folder here called partials, um, so that will be inside your views folder, make sure it's inside your views folder. So um, inside of partials, make a new partial and call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call mine header.ejs, okay? So we're gonna paste this, we're gonna paste this here, right? And this will be our header, right? We're going to change this to Illuminati Productions because, of course, this is our Illuminati Productions website. Okay, cool. And, yeah, so then we could apply this little template here to every single website, right? Because, you know, if we reload right now, um, let's close this stuff. Uh, if we go to this website, go to this route right here that I have open. If we re reload it right now, it's all going to look fine because we don't actually have a menu yet. But if you pay attention carefully, we don't have our styling anymore because we moved our styling code here to this um, full, uh, file, right? So if you want to uh, add this piece of code onto this file right here, this EJS file, we have to apply the partial, right? So we use our opening EJS tag, and then we say include partials slash, and then the partial file name, so header.ejs, okay? So that's how that works, right? So if we reload now, it'll have our styling because, of course, we're including all of this code inside of this EJS file. So if we look at this, what this is doing is saying include, I guess include is the keyword they use. It's like a JavaScript word um, for including partials, right? 
And then we have, this is our um, source basically, where the file is located. So partials is the folder name, of course. We have partials here. And then slash header.ejs, which is the file name, right? So how come we don't have to do a view slash partials? Well, if you remember correctly, we set it, well, EJS already knows to look inside of the views folder, so we don't have to say views slash partials. It knows, you know, to look in there. So hopefully that makes sense. And of course, we can copy this piece of code onto every single page, right? So we can delete this here. Boom. Uh, where's the other one? Okay, cool, delete this here. Boom. And so now what we've done is set up our website. So let's say we want to change, um, let's say we want to change these the, the title, right? We want to change the title for every single page, right? We can do that, you know, just by editing this one file now. So we can say like bloop, right? And now bloop will be applied to every single file on our website, right? Because we um, have this piece of code linked to every single page, right? So that's just really cool to me. Um, hopefully you find it pretty cool too, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Let me think here. Um, well, we can also use a footer, of course, also. So we can make a partial for a footer. We can do that. So our footer is going to be our our body tag, our closing body tag, and our closing HTML tag. And it's also going to be our, our JavaScript links if we have any in the future. You know, it's all going to be... It's basically going to be anything that's at the at the, at the um, the bottom of your page that appears on every single page, right? That's what you would want to use a partial for, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to make a partial for our footer now. So footer.ejs. We're going to paste this in here. And then now we're going to add some code. Um, we're going to add the footer code for our, uh, for our web page, okay? So include partials slash footer.ejs, okay? Cool, and so we don't even need the .ejs thing right here, by the way, because of course we set our view engine to equal ejs, so it'll work just fine now. And of course, it's not gonna change the appearance of it because all we have is two closing tags, that's not really gonna change the appearance. But y'all get the point, hopefully. And we'll be working with it a lot next episode, don't worry, so make sure you try and check that out. So yeah, so we can add this to, the, oh, we need to get rid of this code here. Because we're replacing it, of course. Uh, same thing here when you get rid of that awesome so now we have just the juicy parts of the code left right the code that is unique for every web page because you know every web page is not the same it might have some similar elements are the same like our footer and our header but it's going to have stuff in the middle of the web page that is different you know the content of the page so that will be this of course because it changes right so I know there's a lot you know I talked a lot you know I maybe it went too fast but don't worry I'll leave a link in the description that shows all of the code for today's episode. So if you need it, make sure you click on it and bookmark it. Save it for later. You can use it as a reference, whatever you want to do. But also, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you. And yeah, so if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.